I used two tension rods for this brilliant storage solution. I placed them between my washing machine and wall, which is an awkward, unused space. I made sure they were both level, and then I got a piece of wood to fit on top. I trimmed another scrap piece of wood for the front, and I used a brad nailer to secure them together. I grabbed shelf liner from the dollar store and stuck it to the wood to make it look like one large thick board. I trimmed the edges and placed it on top of the tension rods and now I have a solution for more storage in my laundry room that actually looks good. I hope this inspires you to make use of those awkward spaces and make these easy tension rod shelves. I've got a laundry problem, too much to do and nowhere to store it. So I'm going to head down to my hardware store and I'm going to grab some good lumber. A 1x3 and 1x2s. Make sure you get them pretty straight. On two of these 8 foot boards, we're going to mark them right in half a little bit above the 4 foot mark. Then I'm going to cut them. Now, we're going to set two of these legs aside because we're going to work on one side at a time. Take these two legs, separate them, and then we're going to start building a box. As you can see, I'm going to use glue. Glue is so strong compared to screws or nails. So what you do is you take good wood glue, you separate it out, put the board on top, and I'm just going to use little brad nails to hold it in place. This is going to allow the glue to dry, and it's going to be super strong. We're going to box this out. And then once we get the two sides built, we're going to measure the basket and it comes out to about 24 inches. As you can see, that's how we have to separate it. Build the top and the bottom, again using the one by threes. Just use these and this could be a one person job if you use a clamp to hold it in place on one side. Now, as you can see, the box is starting to form. If it's a little bit off, don't worry. We'll take care of that when it comes to sanding. We'll go on the other side, again using glue and a little bit of brad nails. Now it's time to build the top. Again, using one by threes on the top, I'm gonna do five of these. Again, as you can see, I got glue. Now it's time to build the racks and the sliders that the baskets will go on. I'm gonna put some glue down again along the sides as I measure it out for three baskets, all equal sizes up and down. This one doesn't use a one by three, uses a one by two. We'll put this in place again with glue and using the brad nails to hold it in place. See that little bevel I put on the side? That's so it doesn't catch the basket. Here's the top. You can see the five slots that I put in. Now this is the facial board that I'm gonna put in. It fits really nice, but we wanna hold it in place again. This is where we can put little letterings or signs on. Using the brad nail, hold it in place. Once we do that, it's time to sand. Now, the reason you wanna sand is it takes stain and everything better, but I've got a secret. We're not gonna use stain on this. I'm gonna use something different, but don't be intimidated. We're gonna use a torch. That's right, we're gonna burn this wood and give it a special look. As you can see here, I'm showing you that it can go too fast and it won't do the job. What you gotta do when you're using a torch, don't be nervous, go a little bit slower. See how when we do that, it brings the grain out? It doesn't burn all the wood, it just takes that wood grain and really sets it apart, giving it a very dark look. Now, it looks like it could possibly be burning the wood. That's only temporary. It just gives it a nice shine, and then you can finish it off with some poly. Now, here is the final project. I used my Cricut machine, put a laundry symbol on it, and decorated it up, and it turned out amazing. Three baskets tall and a little shelf on top to hold things. There's that bevel right there so the baskets don't get caught when I'm putting them on. And look at that. You can barely see any of the nails because we use glue to hold it together. With all the laundry in, it's still super strong. And it slides in and out with ease. It's great for the family and they absolutely loved it. Laundry time now doesn't have to be a chore. I hope this inspired you to build your own DIY laundry basket rack. I'm not a fan of doing laundry, and when it comes to folding clean clothing, there's not enough room in my laundry room. But now I found a plan to make a Murphy table, and I knew that's what I needed. I began by cutting one by 12 inch pine to make the storage cabinet. I made the outside box first. I used a Craig jig to make pocket holes to join my pieces together. This, along with wood glue, would keep everything in place.
I measured for my shelves, marking and cutting them to fit, and screwed them in place. Now that the cabinet was made, it was time to make the table. I used half inch MDF, which I measured and cut to size. I attached a piece of one by two to the bottom of the MDF with glue and brads. I also made the legs for the table out of one by twos. I painted the entire cabinet gray using paint from another project. For the back of the table, I used chalkboard paint and applied two coats. When it was dry, I flipped the table over and applied wallpaper to the other side. This would be my tabletop. To attach the table to the cabinet, I used a piano hinge. I screwed it to the wallpaper side of the tabletop and the bottom front of the cabinet. I used another hinge and attached it to the top of the blackboard side and to the top of the legs. For the back of the cabinet, I attached a quarter inch piece of plywood. The cabinet was very heavy, so I used a French cleat as my hanger. There are two pieces and one screws into the back of the cabinet and then one screwed into the wall. Where I wanted to place the cabinet, there were no studs available, so I drilled holes and put in plastic anchors. The cleat is really easy to install and the cabinet hung right up. To keep the table attached to the cabinet, I fastened a heavy duty magnet to the front. Now I have a place to fold my clothing, extra storage, and a chalkboard to write notes. It's a win-win. I hope this inspires you to build something that's unusually useful.